Diggs down here at the bottom, one on one. Fourth and goal. And he throws short, incomplete. Looking for Isaiah McKenzie. Uh -huh. And the Miami defense is held. And how about that? That was a touchdown, and Josh Allen knows it. He immediately went to his knees and put the helmet, his helmet, into the ground because he knows he missed an open Isaiah McKenzie. He had him for the touchdown. Now Buffalo. Watch, he goes and he knows he did it. He knows he missed it. There are two timeouts. Buffalo does have two timeouts left. They do. So Miami's going to have to get a first down, clearly. Clock is at 146. Tongue of Lailoa will take his team out of the end zone. With Mostert in the backfield, it's first and 10. Miami's defense with a goal line stand. Ooh, big hit. And that was a run. Losing a yard, Mostert. Hit on the play, Rousseau. Timeout. There's your timeout. Coming up, State Farm post game show. JB Phil, Nate Boomer, and Hall of Fame coach Bill Cowher. Scores, news, and highlights. State Farm post game next on CBS. It's second down. They lose a yard, so 11 to go. And the ball. Is probably closer to the goal line than it is the one. And they're looking at the hand of Allen. Hmm. Second down 11. Tua, quarterback keeper. Thrilled again. Progress took him. For nothing. So it's third down and 11 to go for Miami. Timeout taken, and the Bills have just timeout. used their final timeout. Well, he he didn't get he didn't get out of the end zone all that much. No. I know I know they're marking it out of the end zone, but that was uh, the push that was there. So let me throw this your way, Kevin. If you're Mike McDaniel, you have the two two of the fastest wide receivers on the planet, right? Knowing that everybody thinks it's going to be a run, do you do a play action and just try throwing one up top and against against a brand new secondary? Against a brand yeah. new secondary, and I mean, hmm. it depends on and, and your offense hasn't been on the field that much, so you'd have to think that your your receivers are ready to roll. It'd be a gutsy call, gutsy call by Mike McDaniel if uh, he wants to throw a surprise in here. Third and goal, Waddle and Hill are in. Make it third and 11. And they get the ball out. Incomplete, great pressure that time by Von Miller. Just outside the goal line. Edmonds coming through. The pressure coming from every angle on Tua. Well, watch Miller. He doesn't fall for it at all. He gets his hands up. He knocks and misdirects that football. Even if Mostert catches it, I'm not sure he's able to pick it up. Now with the incomplete pass, minute 37. I almost think you got. I almost think you got to take the safety, don't you, Kevin? I mean, well, Morstead. Morstead has only had one punt blocked in his entire career. I know, but it's but it's but right. it's 10. I mean, it's only 10 yards instead of 15. Take the safety, then it gives you some room to kick. They're out of timeouts, but then a field goal beats you. I don't know. This is this is risky. And it was blocked. Oh my goodness! Blocked indeed. And we just told you he's only had one block in 14 years, and that was number two. And look at where it comes in the game. Let's see if we can get a. Oh, it oh, hit, hit the, the personal protector, Sherfield. Hit his behind. Well, I just got through saying instead of 15 yards, it's a 10 yard. So exactly. everybody's got to adjust to the fact it's in a confined space. It was not blocked at all. That gives a whole new meaning to kick and you know what. 
So I was just talking about giving up a safety. They didn't give it up, but they got the safety. So now they're going to get a free punt. Buffalo's going to have time, no timeouts. Only and a two point game. And so. only need a field goal yep. now. And they've got a, a kicker in Tyler Bass that just missed one, a short one, a little while ago. It happened so fast. You couldn't tell if it was blocked or if it was off his own personal protector. And that's exactly what happened. So there is a look at Josh Allen, who's gone for 354 and a couple touchdowns. A punt by Morstead with only 10 yards, not the normal 15, was punted off his personal protector's backside. And now with the safety of two, the punt off the safety, and it's a two-point game. Outstanding punt there. Crowder inside the 10 for the Bills. And looking for a gap and looking for a block from Benford. And he's brought down by Van Ginkle on a 15-yard return. So Morstead with a good punt. And now no timeouts for the Bills. 125 to go. And one of the best kickers in the NFL in Tyler Bass, who has missed a field goal moments ago from 38, is warming up on the sideline. And Kevin, these two units, the offense of the Bills and the defense of the Dolphins, have been on the field over 39 minutes of play time, more than doubled in the other side of the ball. So who's got the most left in the tank? Moss in the backfield, blocked by Questionberry, and it's broken up intended for Diggs with the coverage on the play by Javon Holland. It's second and ten. Diggs has been hampered and laboring all day long. Excellent throw by Allen. Even better play by Holland breaking that up. But the clock does stop with 120. Diggs has been down multiple times today, cramping up and dealing with heat. You can utilize the middle of the field. You don't have to get out of bounds. There's plenty of time if you're Josh Allen. Second down and 10. Dawkins the block. Here comes Allen. On the move. Throws downfield and grabbed. Caught on the play by Gabe Davis. It's a 17-yard pickup. He's at the 41-yard line. Clock continuing to check. Buffalo no timeouts. Still need to get about 20 yards, though, to make this uh, even approaching attempting a field goal. But a minute at a time. You still can use the middle of the field. Dolphins bringing pressure. It's first and 10. Downfield they go, dropped by Davis, but heavily defended on the play by Nick Needham. Incomplete, second down and 10, 51 seconds to go. Well, a size advantage for Davis on Needham. A lot of contact there. You can see that right arm wrapped around Davis. No call was made as they were both trying to jockey for position to get to the ball. And then Needham with that left arm knocking the pass away. It's second down and 10. Underneath he goes, Crowder to midfield. Right there, hit by Rowe, close to the first down, about a football's length shy. No timeouts, clock ticking at 40 seconds. You can't spike it, it's third down. Get up there and try and get the first down. That's the most important thing. A lot of time coming off the clock. Third and one. Allen, and he has his backup tight end, Morris. Another catch for him. He's down to the 43 of the Miami Dolphins on a gain of seven and gets the first down. Does a good job, Morris does it, getting out of bounds. Guys, Isaiah McKenzie was, looked like he was cramping. He was stretching at the end of that play over on the other side of the field. Just can't get enough fluids in you. 27 seconds. If you're Josh Allen, you can still use the middle of the field because you can get up on the ball and spike it if you need to. Dolphins Off the back, first and ten. Dolphins bringing pressure and going, man. Crumbling pocket, and he throws it away. It'll be second down and 22 seconds to go, and no timeouts. Well, he knew he couldn't hang out of that long. The Dolphins were bringing pressure. They brought six that time, and only a five-man protection. There was no quick throw to be had, so Allen doing the responsible thing there and just throwing it away. Good job by Josh Boyer, the defensive coordinator of the Dolphins, to dial it up after not blitzing the previous three downs.
Second down and 10. Pressure coming from Ogba. Incomplete to Davis. Coverage by Needham. It's third and 10. And the clock at 18 seconds. Ogba just taking Quisenberry right back into the lap of Josh Allen. And Allen throwing that off his back foot, trying to, trying to lead him. You can see everybody's just exhausted out there. The heat. Oh, they call holding on Quisenberry. So because they're so close to a field goal, they went ahead and took the yardage, kept let them keep it at second down. Time's the biggest detriment right now with only 18 seconds. Buffalo has beaten Miami seven consecutive years, seven consecutive seasons, seven consecutive is a long time to go. Second down and 20. Allen, up, grabbed, gets away. Oh my goodness, how did he escape? It goes off to McKenzie. He'll drive and dance. The clock continues to tick. They got he picks it. up 11. The clock is at five. The clock is at three. Miami is one. Zero's on the clock. Kevin, this game had everything. Both these teams gave everything they had. McKenzie trying to get out of bounds, can't make it to the sideline. That uses up valuable time. They don't have enough time to spike it. Allen went for 401 through the air. They ran out of time in the first half. They run out of time in the end. And the offensive coordinator, Dorsey. And Miami has beaten Buffalo for the first time since December of 2018. And Miami is 3-0 for the first time in four seasons. And Miami, with the two quarterbacks, Miami is in sole possession of first place in the AFC East.